Hey guys, Trader Tim here from TJMacTrading.com. I wanted to show you a little bit about the uh, Thinkorswim uh, platform. I know we talk a lot about options and things on the uh, blog, so I wanted to go through and show you some of the features that uh, we use uh, on the Thinkorswim platform, like I said. So you can download the platform for free, Thinkorswim.com, pull up a demo account and uh, paper trade all you want and get, get a feel for the platform, and uh, that's really one of the great advantages of being able to paper trade. So check out the you can check out their website and uh, get a copy for yourself if you don't already have one. Uh, this is the trade window for Thinkorswim. I try to uh, there's a lot going on here, so I'll try to uh, go through as uh, slow and, and concise as I can here. Um, you can kind of ignore these tabs at the top. We're just going to focus on this this area for today. So what I've done here is pull up a uh, pull up the spy. Uh, just by typing in SPY in the quote window here and uh, if I type in DIA you see that uh, prices change quotes change so here we just have the uh, bid ask size last price your standard information volume um, but down here is where we're really going to focus and this would be the, uh, the options tab so we uh, page starts off like this drop down the options tab want to go ahead and pick your month and in this case, since uh, we're in ox options expiration week, we're going to go ahead and do February. Uh, this is the January uh, expiration week, so we're going to go uh, one month out uh, for any option positions that we put on for uh, this week. And the reason being that uh, since we're long and short, uh, long uh, calls and puts, our theta or our time decay would essentially be wiped out if we were to buy January. Uh, calls and puts and um, you know a couple days especially the two days before expiration the theta just eats away at the option and if they're not in the money they're gonna deflate and you're gonna end up worthless on expiration so uh, a couple things we have here uh, the default uh, setup is uh, we have delta volume open interest and bid and ask and then we have the expiration month in the middle so we have February 010 we have the strike as well and so the left side are the calls and the right side are the puts. We can add more strikes to the window by simply clicking up here in the strike box and clicking say eight. Now we have eight strikes instead of four. Now if you wanted to see some different tabs up at the top you can simply click layout and you can get uh, say you just wanted volume and open interest uh, you can simply click that. You can also customize put any tabs in that you want uh, for this case, I'll do uh, Data Gamma Theta Vega. I'm sorry, Data Gamma Theta Vega. So here we have uh, our delta, uh, and that's what um, what we like to base our portfolio on as far as a uh, relatively delta neutral strategy. So we like to typically look for options at the money or one strike out of the money, and very close to uh, 50 delta or 50 cents for delta. This way if we go long a call and long a put we have a balanced portfolio and are essentially a hedge to our longs and our shorts or our puts in this case. So if we were to pick a pick a call here we'll go ahead and do uh, February 010 uh, this is the the diamonds we'll do the 107 call and we'll simply click on the uh, bid and that'll bring, I'm sorry, the ask here. Uh, but if you see, if you click on the bid, or if you click on, say, we'll do February 105s, the trade window comes up here. And if you do make a mistake, say you click, you click bid here on the 105s, and you meant to click uh, the uh, ask of the 107s, you simply click 107s, and the window will update down at the bottom here. So this has the uh, buy quantity, the contract month, uh, your strike. We're doing a call. You can uh, work the bid um, or the ask if you if you so choose. Um, right now the spread is 156, 159. So we go ahead in here and put uh, maybe 157. Try to work it a little bit, and if we don't get filled, maybe go out to 158. Uh, limit order, and then this is a uh, day or good till canceled order. So you can make changes down here in the bottom if you like. You say you want to go to March. Simply click March. So that's the basic layout of the Thinkorswim options uh, platform. If you have questions, uh, shoot us an email. Also, contact Thinkorswim. So check out the blog, tjmactrading.com. Thanks a lot.